Welcome back to another YouTube video. That was way too aggressive, that intro. But guys, today we're going to be talking about the best players to trade with. Yes. You're like, what? What does that even mean? All right. So guys, we're going to be talking about today my favorite players and kind of generally the best kinds of players that you can trade with. I want to post this video because I want this video to be usable for you guys for a while. I want you guys to click on this video in like a couple weeks and be like, wow, this is still usable. And that's my goal of today's video. So today we're talking about obviously the best players to trade with. Um, and that is obviously being brought to you guys by one of the worst traders in the FIFA community. Anyways, though, guys, hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you guys are making coins this year, man. Hopefully it's been good. So, guys, going forward, we're going to have a trading video or two in the week or market base. And then Saturday is going to be kind of a huge market, market recap, talking about the new promo, looking at some stuff. And so, guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. I'm going to try to make the video as understandable as possible for everybody. That's my goal this year with a lot of the content that we're doing is that every single one of you guys that can, you know, watch the video is understanding what we're talking about. So what is the premise of trading? By the way, if any of you guys are watching this video for the first time, you don't know what trading is. It's to buy low and sell high and to make coins without spending money. That's really the point of trading. Uh, it's just like real life. If you're trading crypto, if you're trading stocks, you're trying to buy the dip with popular stocks or stocks that you like or popular coins and then you're trying to you know sell it on for a profit in the long term well trading is the same exact thing guys and let's just before we get into anything with today's video let's just look at my trends list right let's look at the types of players that i'm trading with and that's going to lead me into my next point and kind of for you guys all here how you can trade with certain players so you look at my trends list what are we looking at with the sales? Well, we're looking at a Team of the Week right back in the La Liga. That's a very rare card. We're looking at a new Hero card. We're looking at a new Bundesliga Team of the Week card. We're looking at a new Bundesliga Team of the Week card. By the way, both with very good stats. We're looking at one of the most popular strikers in the game and in real life. We're looking at one of the most linkable players in the game and popular in real life. We're looking at two new heroes. We're looking at a very, a very, very popular inform Jesus. We're looking at a new uh, Hero card. We're looking at more Jesus's. We're looking at a Team of the Week 1 item, which is a rare Team of the Week, which also links to everybody. We're looking at, uh, same thing with Salah. We're looking at more Team of the Weeks right now, uh, which you can see, Team of the Week, Team of the Week. We're looking at more Hallens, very popular center back in the League 1. We're looking at Timo Werner, a very, very popular striker, obviously in the Premier League. We're looking at Marcos Llorente, and we're looking at Joe Gomez. Okay, so what's the thing in common right away, guys, when you look at my transfer list? All of these players are fitting into the category of the best players to trade with because they either have a combination of rarity, new, or popularity. That's it. Those are the three metrics that you want to look at with trading, right? So when I take a look at my transfer list, let's look at Howland right now, right? So Howland right now in real life is one of the most popular players in real life, period, right? And so what that makes also for him is to us to analyze, is he good on the game, right? And yes, Haaland is very good this FIFA. So Haaland makes for a great card to trade with because he shows a lot of signs that he's always going to go back up in price. So if you're confused right now and you don't understand what I've just said, in the market on FIFA, cards tra trend up and down all day, 24 hours a day. Some hours cards will be up, everybody has FOMO they want to buy. Some hours cards will be down, everybody's wanting to sell because they're dropping and they're worried that they're going to drop. But at the end of the day, if you have the right blend of popularity, like a guy like Haaland, you can start to figure out when they're low and you're buying them and when they're high when you're selling them. So let's look at Haaland, for example, and Haaland is one of the best examples of players to trade with on this game. So Haaland right now is 56k. Last week, Haaland was 95k, but Haaland every single day trends a lot. You can see right here, he was 55, and then he went all the way up to 58. And just as is right there, 55 to 58, you can make about 500 coins, well, 58.5, let's say, and 55.5. So that's 3k, taxes about that. But if you sniped under 55 at, you know, you let's say you got a 55, and you sold at 59, you would have made a little bit of coin. So right now he's dropping again. But what you can see with Haaland is every single day, Haaland trends a ton, 60 to 65. Uh, and then now he's dropping a bit, even if you looked on Friday, right? 60, uh, 64 to 69, 70 to 75. So while the margins are tight, when you're trading with a really popular player, what you should be kind of thinking of is the guy, you know, dropping and rising in value a lot. And when they are on that drop, trying to get a nice snipe or undercut, that's always the big deal. So let me give you guys an example, right? Allen right now is 55K, right? And even at that price, I actually really like his price right now. I think 55K 
with you know the foot champs qualifying this week um, and on all that makes Holland one of the best players to trade with. Now, right now, we've also got a lot of games on, uh, so maybe that's why he's undervalued. He'll probably be up tonight. So what I'm going to do is, because he's 55K on flipping, I'm going to try to snipe him under 55K because I think that Holland is going to actually be above 58K tonight. That's my goal. That's my thought. The bid could not be completed. But 54K is going to be an amazing price, especially if I think Holland's going to head towards 60K. Obviously, that one had a hunter as well. Now, if you don't know what that means... A guy with a hunter chemistry style on FIFA is always going to sell for more if they're an attacker because it has added value. A hunter is like 2,000 coins with a defender of shadows like 3K. So people will always save the effort of buying that chem style and lazy buying it off the player that already has it. So as you guys can see, right now we can't win a Howland. We're sniping against every god in the world. All right, so 54K for Howland. That's a really good price. If I believe that he's going to go to a minimum of 59K later, the tax here is about 2,500 that's like 2,500 coins. Now, that's obviously a risk that I'm taking, but I like the price a lot. So, Hallen is a really good example of somebody that's really good at trade. It's not the only player. So, let's talk about how can you find players that are very popular. Number one thing I would say that's obviously the best players to trade with in FIFA, if I could somehow show you guys, is, wait for it, new items. Yes, new items, guys. New items are the best players to trade with. Now, these are Team of the Week. This is Team of the Week 2 here. And these are all new cards. And you, what you guys will notice about Team of the Week just generally is Team of the Week fluctuates so much, man. It does. These new items, guys, when they get supply, when they don't, they go up and down so much. So let me show you guys some guy I have my transfers right now. He's a really cheap option in the Bundesliga. He's French. He's got a really nice, well-rounded card. This guy trends like crazy, right? Look at this. He goes from 22 to 26. Um, I got him last night at 22. You'll see it on my transfer list. He's 26 right now. Yesterday, he went from 20 to 28. So these cards, any card that's a new card that offers a lot of links is in the team of the week or is a promo card, trends a ton. They go up and down so much because they're new, they're in demand, and people want to try them out. Any card that's very new is going to have less supply as well. So when a card has less supply, which is amounts of the cards on the market, they're actually going to have the chance to fluctuate a lot more. Think about it. If Hallen has a thousand cards, but Benzema has seventy, and they, you know, maybe Hallen has twice the demand as Benzema. Benzema's actually still more likely to fluctuate because he has less cards available on the market. So it's something to think about when you are trading. Um, that you know, the, some of the best cards to trade with are the most rare cards. It's why icons fluctuate so much. If you guys watch a lot of traders on Twitter or maybe even YouTube, and even myself over the years, I trade icons a lot because they move up and down due to their card rarity. So that's really why they 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 trend and do so well. Um, so yeah, what made Nkunku such a good buy last night was that you know I saw him selling at 26k yesterday, and then I had the opportunity last night to pick up a bunch of him. Let's check the price that we bought him at um at 22 right at 22 so what you can do is obviously i've just showed you guys that Nkunku is 26k right now is his sale price so what i would recommend to all of you guys trading is never ever list at the cheapest price right even you know when you're trading with whoever it's so smart to always list above the price so if we take a look at Nkunku at 26.5 how many are available so there's only about a page available there's a little bit less but only about a page which means it actually looks like he's rising so if i was you guys i wouldn't list Nkunku anywhere less than 27k you should be patient because people whether he's rising or people lazy by him squeezing out that extra thousand coins is so important if you take a look at his tax his tax at about 25k is about a thousand two hundred coins right so Right away, if I bought this at 23,750 and I sold them at 25,7, I'm hardly making coins. I'm probably making 500K. So, w your willingness to be able to squeeze out that extra bit of profit is going to really, really, really help you in the long run with any type of card uh, that you're trading, right? So, if you also take a look at my transfer list, we've got Kim Pembe. He's a very, very popular center back at this stage in FIFA. He links to a lot of players. Same thing with Werner, same thing with Llorente, even Joe Gomez, right? These are popular Prems. Pram Lee Gun, good nationality center backs, you know, that link with a lot of players. Um, even on my uh, my transfer list, you guys can see that I'm trading with Inform Jesus. And the reason that I'm trading with him is that he moves up and down every day a ton, 
Right now, he's 155. And then I was able to buy these ones at 145, 142, 146. I've seen him go from 130 to 160 every day for the last three days. So because he's a new card, because he's Brazilian and he's in the Premier League, it actually makes him a phenomenal card to trade with. It really, really, really does, guys. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just relist my cards. Uh, those are the cards that I'm currently trading. And we're going to keep looking at some things to kind of talk to you guys about. Now, what's another really good metric that you guys can find of, you know, good players to trade with? Well, I think any player that a pro player or competitive players are using a lot is a really good player. So right now, you know, if you have a lot of coins like those Messi's, those Pogba's, those Conte's, um, those are the players, KDB, Bruno, uh, maybe take a look at their teams. That would help you guys. The way that I actually trade a lot in FIFA, guys, is I go on the popular page of Flippin because the popular page really tells me what players are being searched up the most. So, for example, Dembele has been on this page for like the last maybe five days. He's been in the top 10. So last night we got some supply um, from promo packs and I bought him at 60K and I already sold him at 66 today. And you can see right now he's 65. Popular players are the players that are being searched up the most on Flippin. Um, and these are the players that are most likely to actually have the most demand in the game. Um, whether it's the moment that people are selling them or the moment that people are buying them, I really recommend if you guys are looking for the best players to trade with on FIFA, going on the popular page of Flippin. I think this page is going to change your life. I really do. Um, let's look at some players. Let's, let's try to find a good example of a player to trade with. Even Valverde, right? Valverde's 33K right now. I actually sold Valverde at 38 last night, guys. Um, so this is looking really tempting to me. You can see he went down to 32, then to 34, and last night he was 37. Although today he hasn't really gone above 32. He's been pretty low today. So maybe let's chill out. But maybe maybe Valverde is going to go back up to 35. Again, we do have the foot champs qualifying happening this week, which does give a really big, re uh, a really big uh, reason for a lot of these guys to rise. So whatever budget you're on, guys, you're going to be able to go on the popular page of Footbin and start to identify cards that are really trending well, cards that are trending up and down a lot, right? You can look at like, you know, I don't know, maybe a player like, on a cheaper budget, uh, Kessie. What's Kessie been trading at? A really popular center mid in the city, ah, right? Yes, he's been on the down, but what's he been going? He's been going down to 21 and back up to 24. So you start to kind of identify trends based off players uh, on the popular page of Flippin, and it's an excellent, excellent, excellent way uh, to trade. I've already just gone ahead, and from the popular page of Flippin, um, I've just seen that... Who did I just see on the popular page of Flippin that I really wanted to trade? Uh, I just saw... Uh, who was it, guys? We just had him, man. I just literally lost him. Uh, oh, Dest. Dest in the team of the week. So, Dest for me, guys, obviously, team of the week is going out of packs and doesn't have a lot of supply the next couple days. Dest has been kind of going from 15 to 17 uh, a ton. A ton, man. He, he was 15K, actually, earlier, and then now he's 16. So, I want to see how snipeable he is back at 15 again. I feel like 15K is actually such a good price for this card. Um, He's not too snipeable. He's 16. See, 13K right there. So that's crazy. 13K for Serginho Dest is absolutely wild. But how have I located this? Well, I figured out that it's a popular player on the Footpin page. It's a new card. And these are some very big variables for me to be turned on to wanting to trade this card. Uh, it makes sense to wanting to be able to trade this card. Um, and that's, guys, the main stem of things I locate to trade with is new cards, identifying their fluctuations, and also seeing out on the popular page. I can't recommend this popular page enough to you guys. I think if you guys can kind of log on to the popular page of Flippin every day, at least once and check out some players, if you start looking at their graphs, you're going to find some really, really, really good deals, guys. You're going to start to figure out, okay, this guy was selling, you know, maybe 20% higher at this point in the day, and he's a really in-demand card. You know, I really want to pick him up. So that's something that I, I couldn't recommend more to you guys. Um, you know, you guys have obviously seen my transfer list. I think new cards too, like promo cards, like these heroes right now are so in demand at the time I'm recording this video. And so it really makes me want to trade with them, right? It, it makes me really interested uh, in many of them because they give obviously some really unique links. And I think a lot of people are, are out there really wanting to try these guys right now. And 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 so, for example, a guy that I've traded today is uh, is Dempsey. Dempsey, uh, Dempsey was down all the way, guys, today at like... 54k about an hour ago and he was selling at 68 last night so what you guys can see is that yeah he's back up to 62 and i just sold one at 61 you saw the sale in this video and it doesn't really make sense because he's in the mls but obviously heroes linked to each other he's in a, he's like the first american uh icon we've had in a couple of years so a lot of the people are going to want to try this card i mean it's a new and in-demand card so i would say the same thing is like 
anytime you get these new promo cards start to try to figure out what they're selling at what they're not selling at and then i think the last thing the best players to trade with are the easy ones guys it's going to be the players that you see the most in weekend league and in rivals if you guys see de bruyne and everybody's team he's going to be the guy that's going up and down and selling the quick the quickest anybody that's in a lot of people's teams is going to sell very fast on the foot market um if we go and right now we take a look probably at my club and you know who i've got in my club let's kind of see right now so we've got three of the new icons these are obviously the german ones they're very linkable um i bought them today at good prices goretzka goretzka's in a lot of people's teams and i've bought them at 175 with a shadow and i got this price last night and the reason why i knew it was such a good buy was that goretzka's just really in demand and right now he's at 183 but i got him right here i picked him off about right here 175 with a shadow and right now i guaranteed if i listed him probably at 190 plus all day eventually i would actually get the sale so hopefully this video helped you guys man this is kind of how i trade players i use the footman popular page i lose a lot of new cards and i look at their hourly graphs and when i do like a buy i really am in i'm really patient i try to get a massive undercut on the market i really really try my best to get a great great deal and i think patience is the biggest thing you guys can do as a person trying to make coins on this game Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please toss a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Peace.